In critical theory and deconstruction, phallogocentrism is a neologism coined by Jacques Derrida to refer to the privileging of the masculine phallus in the construction of meaning. The word is a portmanteau of the older terms phallocentrism focusing on the masculine point of view and logocentrism focusing on language in assigning meaning to the world. Derrida and others identified phonocentrism, or the prioritizing of speech over writing, as an integral part of phallogocentrism. Derrida explored this idea in his essay, Plato's Pharmacy. Topic. Background In contemporary literary and philosophical works concerned with gender, the term, phallogocentrism, is commonplace largely as a result of the writings of Jacques Derrida, the founder of the philosophy of deconstruction, which is considered by many academics to constitute an essential part of the discourse of postmodernism. Deconstruction is a philosophy of indeterminateness and its opposing philosophy, determinateness. According to deconstruction, indeterminate knowledge is aporetic, i.e., based on contradictory facts or ideas, aporias that make it impossible to determine matters of truth with any degree of certitude. Determinate knowledge, on the other hand, is apodictic, i.e., based on facts or ideas that are considered to be true from one perspective or another. The phallogocentric argument is premised on the claim that modern Western culture has been, and continues to be, both culturally and intellectually subjugated by logocentrism and phallocentrism. Logocentrism is the term Derrida uses to refer to the philosophy of determinateness, while phallocentrism is the term he uses to describe the way logocentrism itself has been genderized by a masculinist phallic and patriarchal agenda. Hence, Derrida intentionally merges the two terms phallocentrism and logocentrism as phallogocentrism. The French feminist thinkers of the school of Écriture Féminine also share Derrida's phallogocentric reading of all of Western metaphysics. For example, Catherine Clement and Hélène Sixus in The Newly Born Woman 1975 decry the dual, hierarchical oppositions set up by the traditional phallogocentric philosophy of determinateness, wherein death is always at work as the premise of woman's abasement, woman who has been colonized by phallogocentric thinking. According to Sixus and Clement, the crumbling of this way of thinking will take place through a Derridean-inspired, anti-phallo, logocentric philosophy of indeterminateness. See also Phallic monism Notes External links Biases of the Ear and Eye, Logocentrism Jacques Derrida, The Perchance of a Coming of the Other Woman. The Deconstruction of Phallogocentrism from Duel to Duo, Carol Deli Review Sends Public.